What's it like there right now? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, it's just cranking up. And, Marianne, as you were pointing out, we, we actually based, guys, purposely on the West Coast because, as you know, early in the week, this thing was supposed to roar up the East Coast. All of a sudden, 48 hours later, here we are. Literally, guys, we are in the, directly in the path of Irma. They're projecting. Now, I'd say, guys, right now probably 40, 50-mile-an-hour winds as it cranks up to a projected 120, 130 by tonight. Mm. Wow. So, Sarasota, you're just south of Tampa, right? That's right. We're between Tampa and Naples, Marianne, which is really the section right now that is supposed to get the biggest brunt of the storm surge and the winds here later today and into tomorrow morning. So what are you going to be doing there exactly, like, in the next couple of hours before this thing really crashes into your area? Well, at this, at this juncture, all the authorities are saying it's time to hunker down. We were spending the last 48, Marianne, on our Safe Way Out project, which was born after Katrina and during Rita in partnership with the Red Cross 12 years ago. That's our project to make sure the most vulnerable, frail elderly, people with disabilities, families, young children can be safely evacuated during disasters. So we've distributed Safe Way Out kits. We've also got our Fuzzy Buddy project, getting stuffed animals to kids oh. who may have lost everything or in shelters. We've been doing that here on the streets of Sarasota for the last couple of days. And Gary, how rewarding is this? I know that you, uh, you know, your your uh, pedigree is in politics, but to do something like this, uh, it's got to feel real good. Well, the thing about it is, you know, you know, Tony, I went to the Kennedy School at Harvard, where they say you got to be kind of a do-gooder to go here. So that and an Eagle Scout, you know, it's just one of these things. You know, you know, I, I really do have a calling on my life life to help protect the vulnerable. This is a big part of that. And guys, I want to really give a shout out to Sacramento and California because that's where this project was born. Several hundred thousand of these kids were already out in the Golden State. This is our first foray into Florida. And we had the Sarasota County uh, Office of Emergency Services actually operations manager tell me yesterday, we really like this project. So this is going to be something that we're just beginning to move here. Uh, we've had other places in the nation take it, and now it looks like Florida. This is its turn. And, Gary, while I have you on the phone live, uh, I'm going to be back on the CBS 13 News at 10. We want to reach out and talk to you then as well, so keep that in mind because I know as this thing moves toward you, uh, things can get uh, uh, really hairy, so we want to talk to you uh, later on, so keep that in mind. Appreciate your time, Gary. Oh, absolutely. That, that will be right when we hit in the zenith, it sounds like, on the wind, Tony. So let's hope we still got still service. Talk to you then. All right, Gary Dietrich hanging out there in Sarasota. It's just south of Tampa, right? One of the areas that's expected just to get the brunt of the storm. The eye's going to pass right over that area, and uh, they're already getting the heavy rains, but they have not seen the worst of it just yet. Uh, if you've got any family or friends in Florida that you're concerned about, especially out there now,